Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise. Give you thanks and praise, Lord, that you bring us to restoration. That as we journey with you, Lord, that you bring us healing and comfort. That we are no longer dead bones, but we are alive in you. Lord, all of this we ask, offer, and pray in your name. And all God's people said, Amen. We begin this evening with our reading as a skit between God and Ezekiel. The Eternal had a hold on me, and I just couldn't escape it. The divine wind of the Eternal picked me up and set me down in the middle of the valley. But this time, it was in the middle of the bones. There was a pile of bones everywhere. Dry bones left unburied. Ezekiel, son of man, do you think these bones can live? Well, certainly you know the answer better than I do. Bones, death is what that equals. Tonight we are talking about being dead to sin. You see, the bones here are really us. We've died to our sins. It represents both us dying to sin and those who don't even know who Christ is. They're dead souls. But there's always hope for us. There's always something out there for us. And as these bones lay here, motionless and lifeless, we grasp to our God. Our God, who is all-powerful. Our God, who has the power to do anything. Our God, who has the power to create the earth, to create life, to put flesh, and create life in dry bones. Dry bones that have been picked apart and are bare. Tonight we talk about our God and our dry bones. And we continue with our readings. Ezekiel, prophesy to these bones. Tell them to listen to what the eternal Lord says to them. Dry bones, I will breathe breath into you, and you will come alive. I will attach muscles and tendons to you, cause flesh to grow over them, and cover you with skin. I will breathe breath into you, and you will come alive. After this happens, you will know that I am the Eternal One. So, I did what the Lord told me to do. I prophesied the bones, and as I was speaking, I heard a loud noise, a rattling sound, and all the bones began to come together and form complete skeletons. I watched, and I saw muscles and tendons attached to the bones, a flesh grow over them, and skin wrap itself around the reforming bodies, but there was still no breath in them. Lifeless bodies. Have you thought about that? Life without soul, even though it has flesh and bone and meat and it's all put together, it's still lifeless. Bodies with no life in them. Bones that have no life at all. You see, that's our walk of faith. That's what we see in our lives as sinners. During Lent, we talk about how we are not alive because our sin creates death in us. Our sin leads us to 
to be dead bones. We have the flesh and meat of the gospel living out among us. We have the flesh and of the gospel there in our grasp. But there are some times when we don't even understand or see it. During Lent, during Lent we think about those times. Those times when we have not lived up to who God wants us to be. Those times when we are lifeless bodies that just lay there. But God, God is our creator. He's the one who created earth and heaven. He's the one who created life and man. And we have faith in our creator that he will create life in us. He brings faith to us and leads us from sinful death to life in him. But faith needs to stir in us to bring that life to the forefront. And so we continue with our readings. Prophesy to the breath. Speak, son of man, and tell them what the eternal Lord has to say. O oh, sweet breath, come from the four winds and breathe into these who have been killed. Make these corpses come alive. So I did what the Lord told me to do. I prophesied to the breath. And as I was speaking, breath invaded the lifeless. The bodies came alive and stood on their feet. I realized then I was looking at a great army. Bones to life. They shake because they have the flesh and bone on them. And now all of a sudden, the prophesying to them of the gospel of Jesus brings breath into them and creates a life, a great army that is here for the gospel. An army that is no longer bones, but pure and white in Christ. Pure and white as if they've put on robes so that we see nothing but the pureness and holiness of the gospel. You guys can put your robes on now. <laughs> You see, God puts us together. God makes us whole. And he breathes into us the breath of life. Just as we heard in the creation of man, he breathes the Holy Spirit into us. That we are no longer dead to sin, but alive in Christ. And seen as pure and white and holy. Death is gone because we have life in our Creator. Life in the one who made us. Life in the one who brings us into this life. He restores our soul. And He restores us to pure and holy ways. Brothers and sisters, our God is one who loves us, that doesn't want us to be dry bones who are dead to sin. Our God is one who wants us to be white and pure and holy. That is who our God is. And we continue with our reading. Son of man, these bones are the entire community of Israel. They keep saying, our bones are dry now, picked clean by scavengers. All hope is gone. Our nation is lost. He told me to prophesy and tell them what he said. Pay attention, my people. I am going to open your graves and bring you back to life. I will carry you straight back to the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Eternal One. I will breathe my spirit into you, and you will be alive once again. I will place you back in your own land. After that, you will know that I, the Eternal, have done what I said I would do. This is the word of the Lord. The love of God. 
The love of God is what we are celebrating tonight. The love of God is what we are celebrating all the time. It's the love that breathed breath into us in Christ who we celebrate as our Savior. The love of God who brings us to the cross. The love of God who purifies us and makes us holy. The love of God who created us. And the love of God who makes you who you are in the gospel. Our God is an awesome God. He has made our dry bones pure. He has given us life in Him. So tonight, as we talk about dry bones, as we talk about being dead to sin, as we talk about not having life, I want you to remember that we do have life. We have life in our Savior. Our Savior who breathed into us breath, who saves us and loves us. So we are no longer dead to sin, but alive in Christ Jesus. Will you join me in a word of prayer? Lord, tonight we give you thanks and praise for all that you have blessed us with, Lord. And on this Ash Wednesday, we remember to dust we are and to dust we shall return. But our story doesn't end there, Lord, with the dry bones on the ground. It ends in life with you that you have breathed into us with the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus' saving story for us. Lord, help us to live not as dry bones who are dead to sin, but living, breathing people who are alive in faith in you. Lord, all of this we ask, offer, and pray in your name. And all God's people said, <laughs>